Before flying a site for the first time, it is important to determine what coordinate reference system, often referred to as CRS, you would like your data to be processed in. In this training module, we will go over how to create a new site in your portal, what coordinate reference systems are, and some considerations to help you choose the right CRS for your site. Welcome to PropellerU. Navigate to your home page in the platform, click Create a New Site. Enter the name of the site, then select the industry that best matches your site. Selecting the industry will tailor the measurement tools that will be made available to you within your site. You can change the industry anytime by going to the settings within the site and choosing a different industry from the drop down menu. Click Next. Use the search bar or zoom and pan within the map to the approximate location of your site. Once you have zoomed in close enough to your site, the yellow banner will disappear and you can proceed to the next step. When zooming in, make sure that the full extent of the project is contained within the box displayed. Zooming in too far may cause error messages related to any design files you upload if the designs extend beyond this box. Click Next. Before we continue, let's first take a moment to discuss coordinate reference systems. A CRS is used to define the location of points or features in space. The X and Y are the horizontal coordinates, while Z is the vertical coordinate. Typically, the feature in space we are referring to is a worksite. There are two types of CRSs, geographic and projected. Geographic coordinate systems don't represent features in X, Y, and Z coordinates, but instead use latitude and longitude. We do not offer geographic coordinate systems when setting up your site, as units would be in degrees. This would not allow for measurements in your data sets to be available in units such as meters or feet. Projected coordinate systems define the X and Y coordinates on a flat, two-dimensional grid, and the center of the grid is the origin, 0, 0. The values of the X and Y coordinates are referenced to the origin or central location, and are typically given as eastings and northings. When using a projected CRS, you wind up with some sort of distortion related to either distance, shape, size, or direction. This is expected when using a projected CRS. The smaller the area of projection, the smaller the amount of distortion, which is better. The European Petroleum Survey Group, or EPSG, is a database of Earth CRSs, datums, and units of measures where a code is assigned to each CRS. Each published CRS that we list as an option to use has a corresponding EPSG code. It is common that a project may not reference a published CRS at all, and will use an arbitrary or local CRS instead that is specific to a single worksite. The site is calibrated by a qualified surveyor and a local CRS is created for the worksite. If you are unsure whether your project references a published or local CRS, a good place to start is to consult with the project surveyor or engineers. The surveyor will know if they have created a local calibration for the site. The engineers can check if the existing design files reference a specific CRS. When working in the platform, you will define the coordinate reference system when you create a site. The CRS you select is the one your survey data will be processed in. Once you select a CRS, you must use this same one for the duration of the site. Changing the CRS in between surveys would result in a shift in your data and will create inaccurate measurements when compared to a previous survey or design file. If you need to change the CRS, we suggest setting up a new site with the new CRS. Then begin uploading your new surveys there. Any previous surveys would need to be re-uploaded to the new site to be processed in the new CRS. Let's continue setting up your new site. Now you must select the site's coordinate reference system, which will either be a published or a local grid system. If you are unsure whether to use a published or local CRS, consult with your surveyor, visit our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com, or click on the support button in your portal to learn more. Here we'll provide more information to help you make the best selection for your project.
If you choose to use a published CRS, a list of recommended horizontal coordinate systems will be displayed based on the site location. If the desired CRS is not displayed, you can search for your CRS by the name or EPSG code. To display all available CRSs in the area, click Show All Systems. After selecting the desired horizontal CRS, you will need to select the desired vertical datum, as well as the measurement unit. Vertical datums measure land elevations and water depths. Common vertical datums include NAVD 1988 for the US, AHD for Australia. The vertical datum varies by country within Europe. If you have further questions regarding which vertical datum to use, please consult your surveyor, visit our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com, or click on the support button in your portal to learn more. When you have your horizontal coordinate system, vertical datum, and measurement unit selected, click Next. If you choose to use a local CRS, you will need to provide a JXL or GC3 calibration file, depending on the type of GPS equipment you are using. After adding your file, select the local systems unit. If desired, you can enter a test point where the local X, Y, and Z values can be compared to the geographic X, Y, and Z values to ensure your local coordinates are translated correctly. When you have added your calibration file and confirmed the unit for the local CRS, click Next. At this time, you can invite people to your site and determine what permissions they should have for the site. When you are done inviting people, click Next. Alternatively, you can skip this step for now and finish setting up your site by clicking Skip for Now. You can invite users to your site at a later time by navigating to the site settings and then choosing the People and Teams option. Enter their email address and choose the permissions you would like them to have. Then click Invite. That's it, your new site has been created. From here, you can upload data, open your site, view resources in our knowledge base to help plan your first flight, or continue configuring additional settings for the site. In this module, we learned how to create a new site, the basics of coordinate reference systems, setting up a published and local grid coordinate reference system, and how to invite people to your site. Thanks for watching. For more information about creating a site and selecting a CRS, you can review the supporting materials associated with this module or check out our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com.